welcome to the Marauder Football pregame show for the week we've all been waiting for, the District 6 Championship. I'm your host, Jordan Roan. Today I sit down with two senior stars, Sam McCloskey and Matt Gormley, to discuss this weekend's upcoming matchup against Portage Friday at Mansion Park. Sam, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Jordan. First off, tell us how you and your team performed last week against the Bowadanis Blue Devils. Uh, I thought we played pretty well. Uh, we knew it was going to be a... Uh... Somewhat of a tough, tough matchup. Uh, we lost the Bell with our sophomore year, and we wanted to get them back for it. And they have good history and tradition there in the playoffs, and uh, it was good to knock them off the way we did. Matt, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. This week you battled out in the District 6 Championship against the Portage Mustangs. What's it feel like to be back playing in the title game for the second straight year? Um, it's a good feeling. We just you know we got to finish strong this year and finish the game. We came up four minutes short last year, but... Is your plan of action to march into Mansion Park on Friday night and leave with a gold medal? Um, our plan of action is to come at them early. Uh, whoever starts off the game strong, I think is going to have the advantage. Uh, we got to come in there and punch them right in the mouth, and I think that's going to be the key to coming out with a victory. Your team is still undefeated with a 12 and 0 record, and you have the opportunity to play four more weeks of football. How do you feel about ending your BG career with such great success? It's a good feeling, but we you know we gotta we wanna win D6 and then get a championship for states and win that too. Since the summer, you have received not only local attention but attention from all across the state. What do you think of this stardom that you and your team have been receiving? Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we've been hearing about how good we are all summer, and we've found a way to kind of ignore all that stuff. And I think if we went went down the other path and would have listened to all the hype, we wouldn't be in the position we are for this Friday. Last year, you traveled to Portage to take on the Mustangs in the district semifinals. You defeated them 42-10. to Most of the teams returned their starters this year, so does that give you an insight as to how this week's game is going to go? Seeing film on them helped and seeing that they did the same thing as last year. We know what they do, and the Kepler kid is a pretty good kid, but we stopped them. I think we won the game. What are your coaches telling you about Portage, and how are you to prepare for this potentially historic game? Uh... They've been telling us you know, the same things they've been throughout the playoffs, that we got to start strong and come after them because uh, they think we can put it to them if we play our game. Uh, we beat them pretty handily last year, but it's a whole other year and anything can happen. And uh, they want the championship as bad as us, so it's whoever's going to want it more is what they're pretty much telling us. 1987 was the last year the Bishop Guilfoy and Marauders captured the District 6 crown. 27 years later, you have the opportunity to win it again. How exciting is it to be a part of the team on the verge of bringing back the title to BG? It's a good feeling uh, that our guys have been working so hard to achieve these goals and been working with these guys since seventh grade. You'll certainly be playing on Saturdays next year as you move on to the next stage in your football and educational career. How has the BG football program prepared you for the next level? Uh, prepared me greatly. Uh, my freshman year, I got thrown into varsity action. And I had... I had no idea what I was going to expect, and I got to wake up, and uh, I learned how hard it is to uh, play at the high school level, and from there, I knew I wanted to play college ball and had to work really hard, and it was a help from a lot of the coaches, especially Coach Wheeler, to get me in the position I am today, and uh, worked hard, but it came from a lot of supporting factors as well. How's practice been going this week, and what's the general outlook among your teammates? Um, we're staying focused and keep working hard, executing plays, and just knowing the defense and our alignments and jobs and just doing that and things will happen. Your season ended last year in a loss to Homer Center in the same game that you were about to play this week, the championship. What can you do differently this Friday to secure a more positive outcome? Uh, I think we need to maintain more focus, uh, definitely be more mentally prepared and mentally strong. Uh, mentally, that's how we lost it last year. We had some bad penalties, didn't capitalize at the end, and pretty much, you know, blew it. So uh, I think we're going to have to finish the game this, this year, and we'll be able to get it if we do that. Matt, what should we expect out of this Friday's championship game at Mansion Park? I think our defense will stop them, and if we execute our plays and do the things we want to do, good things will happen, and we'll get the W and win the district.